hyphen fast so this is a key from 360 leader it's time to learn how to set up and use iMessage contact key verification on iPhone and iPad Contact key verification is designed to enhance your messaging security on your iPhone or iPad. It further empowers the security of iMessage conversations by making sure that the person you are communicating with is genuinely who they claim to be. This method of verification is especially important for ensuring the integrity of communications in situations where confidentiality is crucial. That said, let's get it started. First and foremost, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now tap on your Apple ID located near the top. Then scroll down to locate and select the contact key verification option. Then toggle the switch next to verification in iMessage to activate contact key verification. Now you will see a splash screen that explains more about the feature. You might also need to update other devices linked to your Apple ID. If you have a device that can't be updated, you need to sign out of iMessage on that particular device before you can turn on this feature. Next up, it's time to learn how to verify your own identity for others using contact key verification. In the settings app on your iPhone or iPad, head over to Apple ID and then select contact key verification. Here you will find an option to show public verification code. Then tap on copy verification code to copy your unique code. You can now share this code directly with individuals or save it publicly online. This allows others to verify that they are indeed communicating with you and not someone else masquerading as you. Next up, it's time to learn how to verify the identity of others using the contact key verification code. Now open a conversation in the Messages app on your iPhone or iPad. Then tap the person's name at the top. After that, select Verify Contact near the bottom of the menu. Now both you and the other person will see a six-digit code generated on your devices. Now you will need to compare these codes to ensure they match perfectly. If the codes match, select Mark as Verified. After that, tap on Update. This will associate the verification code with the person's contact card and a check mark will appear next to their name in the Messages app. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you can easily set up and use iMessage contact key verification on your iPhone and iPad. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it. And I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye.